Hey guys, I've had a lot of people ask about the tripod and ball head and you know what my setup is and exactly. So I figured I'd make a quick video and go over it. Um, this is the Faisal CB50 and the Slick 700 tripod. A uh, great combination. I've used it heavy for two years, carrying it in and out of the field, tugging it back and forth, banging around the truck, and two years later it's still good and strong and sturdy. So come in here and take a look at it. The ball head's got several functions. It's got your knob, which frees the ball up. This allows you to swivel 360 degrees any which way that you need to. Um, your knob up top, that tightens down onto your plate that attaches to your rifle. Uh, it's got a special safety feature here that you, you tighten it down in the dovetail and that tightens onto your plate. It's got this safety button. If for some reason, your knob would come loose, it would get bumped and wiggle loose, you know, to where your dovetail will slide. Your plate should have, the good plates anyways, have a notch in there that catches this button. So even if it comes a little loose, it might wobble this and that, but it's not gonna slide out and you're not gonna drop, you know, $1,600 worth of equipment. Some guys, you know, two, three thousand dollars of equipment onto the ground. So uh, anyhow, it's got another swivel base. If you wanna keep it, stationary with the ball it simply swivels on a flat base I usually don't use that personal preference but um, I'll go ahead and get the rifle and slap on here so you can take a look at that alright this is my 6.5 Grendel it weighs 11 pounds as it sits without the magazine. Um, very sturdy. Like I said, I've been using this for two years, hunting pretty heavy, and it's, you know, it's, it's good and stout. You can lean into this thing. Whenever you're getting ready to take your shots, you can actually lean into the tripod. It'll support your weight plenty good. It, it helps you, you know, steady your shot up quite a bit. Um, like I said, for the price wise, it can't be beat. All together, between the tripod and the ball head, I have, a, I'd say, 280 somewhere in that ballpark uh, between both of them. Very stout setup. Uh, Faisal also makes a, a CB70 that is supposedly more sturdy. I, this is plenty for what I need. Some guys that run a real heavy rifle say they like the 70. Um, you also get it to 70, you pick up some more weight with it because it's bigger and the price goes up. So uh, anyhow, that's, that's pretty much what I use. It's nice and stout. Um, one thing I forgot is the taller guys. I've got the legs almost all the way extended out. Um, I think I can bring each leg out another inch or so. But uh, the taller guys, you know, if it's not quite up there where you need it, you can also extend it the whole length of this. So I mean, you know, Michael Jordan can use this thing. It's It gets up there. Um, i found, in my opinion, the further you extend this, the more play I think it gives it. So I try and keep it down to the, all the way down unless, you know, you absolutely need it. Um, but anyhow, now you can get a hold of this at Thermal Optics Plus. Cameron Gonder's a great guy. Uh, he'll, you message him, he'll work with you with what you have. You know, I'm pretty sure he even has plates and ways to attach to bolt rifles for those guys that like bolt guns. Um, I didn't show you, this is the plate. There's that safety button I was talking about. When that dovetail slides in there, locks into place, tighten the dovetail down, or the clamp down the dovetail and you're good to go. But uh, anyhow, that's what I use. Um, I like it, it's sturdy. It's definitely affordable compared to you know, some of the 300 almost $400 set of legs you can get. I'm sure they get pricier than that. Um, you can go cheaper on the ball head if you want, but it's, I found that the cheaper ones you have lots of problems with. So anyhow, you get a hold of Cameron Gonder and he'll hook you up with whatever you need. He actually will take the time to, you know, talk to you, tell him what you have. He'll tell you what you need to make it work. And, you know, there you go. That's what I use.